Hey everybody, Case here. Welcome back to the Babies Update. It's time for another premium character. The character in front of you, by the way, is the sister of the premium character that I'm about to get. She is the owner of a daycare, but strangely enough, the daycare didn't come with this character that I'm aware of. I think they were actually separate. Also voiced by John Lovitz, this character, and the other one, so guarantees are not going to be voiced in the game. Do you give up? You want to know who it is. It is going to be Lou Ellen Sinclair that comes with the Springfield Community Theater. Every six hours, 175 and 18 respectively. Van Andy rating as well. Kaboom! Ooh, a premium character. I've had many heart attacks and I plan to have many more. That's how much I care about community theater. Llewellyn Sinclair. I don't know if I'm pronouncing the first name correctly. So I'll call you Mr. Sinclair. And I've collected them all. No, I haven't. I'm missing you. She's the, the belly dancer. Princess Cashmere? Alright there, Sinclair. We'll tap you in a second, but first we have to tap the Springfield Community Theater. I like the orange trees around the building. I don't know if that was actually in the episode or not. It's gonna sound like theater. Theater is having to do with the stage and it's people talking and, and everything. Okay, let's do that. People talking. Is clapping a form of talking? Not turning away as many as we should. Well, if it isn't my brother, Llewellyn, the artist of the family. Most art is counterproductive and a drain on society's resources. Welcome. Thank you, sweet sister. You'll be pleased to hear I've forsworn the theater. Inspired by you, I should instead take the noble path of caring for precious young people. Because I love and care about the children. Because you're broke and unemployed. Now that you mention it, yes. I need to make rent or I'll be out on the street sleeping in an unheated horse costume. Get child CPR training. It's a rather interesting way to start this. But it's animated. But move away from the fire. Thank you. What's processing in my mind is don't throw the baby in the fire. But it's a fake baby. It's plastic. He's always overacting, you know what I mean? Because he's in the theater. Wait, perhaps I could combine my two great loves. Theater and whatchamacallit. Childcare? That sounds right. I'll call it Community Theater Daycare. I can watch busy people's kids and simultaneously teach them classical acting technique. Good luck. I'm glad you found your calling in this bleak, cruel, hopeless world. And remember, children respond to optimism. I'm just looking at her eyes. It just went from this like dead-eyed to just popping out of her skull. So clear open Community Theater Daycare. Does that mean we're going to finally go to the actual theater? For the animation, I am going to say all the lights will turn on, the door will open, and I'm hoping something to do with the oranges. Because there's six orange trees. And what a waste it would be if they did nothing. They're doing nothing. So the only thing I can see is the lights are on, and that's totally cool. The more lights, the better. Means there's somebody in there. I would have liked something to do with the orange trees, but that's okay. Beggars can't be choosers. Alright, the sign-up sheets have been up at the laundromat for a month now. Let's see how many kids have enrolled. Zero? Doesn't anyone have a passion for acting in this town? I do, but I can't read yet. Me neither. Me neither. Curses. My plan is fairly flawed. Everyone knows babies can't read scripts. No even librettos. Then they must first learn to read. That is how you build the infant resistance. 
I like where this is heading. A baby army. How do you pronounce that word? Ain? Ainrand? Ainrond? Stop me if I'm close. It's gonna be a 24 hour quest. How's it going, Bleeding Gums Cloud? Finally, the babies can read, thanks to my technique of yelling loudly. I'm scarred for life, but it worked great. Babies, find your marks. We'll begin by rehearsing the big kick line. Kick line? But we can't walk or even stand up. What? Why wasn't I informed? Prepare for more yelling! Sinclair Direct Baby Theater! And we get our second and final animation, Direct Baby Theater. Is this going to do with puppets? I just get a feeling it has to do with puppets. Because they're babies. Babies respond to puppets. I can't imagine what he's yelling at the babies. Many, many swears. But it doesn't seem to be affecting all the babies. One baby sucking their thumb and almost falling asleep. One is falling asleep. And then the final baby just seems to be loving it for whatever reason. I just keep thinking I wish we could have got John Levitt's voice. Because he's so funny in the episodes. You know what? I can't remember what the other animation was. My mind is suddenly gone blank. I'm pretty sure we've seen it, right? Oh, I remember now. That was the one where I said, hey, don't throw the baby in the fire. The CPR one. Hey, there we go. Llewellyn Sinclair is a four-part questline, which is better than three. Certainly better than two. Perfect World would have been five and up, but that's not bad. Maybe because it's the premium character it's longer? Nah, that can't be right. It's just completely random, I think. Whatever EA decides they want to do. But yeah. Both animations, we've seen them. Springfield Community Theater. We've seen the animation for that. And we finally have the brother-sister combination. By the way, if you want to check out the other character, and I think I said this before, strangely enough, it doesn't come with this building. There we go, right there. For whatever reason, it doesn't. Because if I go like this, See? Usually it would say, oh, it's going to store the character with the, the building. It doesn't say that. But I want to see the animation, actually, before we wrap this up, because I'm very, very curious. Actually, well, yeah, you know what? I'm curious. That is pretty funny. I showed the character, and she suddenly popped up really close to where I need to go. Let's see if... She goes to that building. Hmm. It doesn't really look like it. Ten coffee meetup. Nothing of interest. Dance to senior burns. Practice a fountainhead diet. Let's see if she goes there or not. To this 12 hour quest. Maybe? Where did she go? Ooh. Let's see, workouts, attend budget daycare? Ooh, that could be it. Attend budget daycare, let's see if this is it. You're not going the right way at all. No, you're not going to the, that daycare. I've got a million daycares, though. She's, she's probably going to the one up top, maybe. Who knows? But anyway, if there's an animation for it, I just don't know the character or characters that can go on it. I'm just curious, because it's been such a long time since I've looked at it. I believe it came out in winter 2015. Right? We're closing in, kind of, I guess, winter 2019. Like usual with all that stuff, let me know what you think of the animation. Let me know what you think of the animation for the building. Did you like the quest line? All that awesome stuff. And I will see you... 
with more premium character walkthroughs like Peta and Peta very shortly in the baby's updates. So thank you everybody so much for watching, and I will see you on the next one. Bye-bye, everybody.